Hey, how's everybody doing today? All right, I'm back. Just got this in from Verpal, and no, they didn't send it to me free. I bought it because I really been wanting to try one of these devices. So this is the control panel number two. What I'm gonna do with this, I'm gonna have to show you. Basically, I, I was looking on the internet and I couldn't find any information on, this has to be slave to something. Or is it going to be primary? I really don't know because I all I have is a Verpal joystick. So it does have an auxiliary on it as well as this. So it has an auxiliary and it has a USB auxiliary 5 to 5 and a USB 5 to the computer. So it's going to be a shot in the dark. I'm going to set it up as a slave and I'm going to leave my joystick as a primary see if that works out so basically I have to hook it up to the computer disconnect my joystick and do a firmware update once the firmware update is done I'll go through the program select it as a slave hook up the auxiliary to auxiliary to the joystick and hope everything works out all right as far as I know it might have to run separate because like I said I'm not doing it from a throttle like I've seen other videos and from what I understand you can't daisy chain these like you can't get control panel one and two and daisy chain it off of a throttle a verbal throttle so it, it's gonna be a little dilemma not well not a big one but it'll be something but anyways now that I have it if I, what I'm gonna do is remove these and it's going to be bolted to these four down the bottom, these are number five. I guess they recommend don't go longer than a number five 12 millimeter, 12 millimeter long M5. So I'll show you what I'm gonna hook that to. I made something over at work. I had to do a little bit of bending and stuff. They also give you a smaller stick, a lot smaller. I don't think I'm gonna change it. This one's like really short but it has the two screw holes like on the bottom of this one where it has the detent. Nice sound. And it's like, if I put that all the way and you can see how much shorter it would be. I haven't seen this in any other videos, so I'm kind of curious if this is something new they're doing. So we have that and we have obviously the USB cables. Well, this is, the five to five. This is the USB to either the hub or the computer. And this looks like a shorter five to five. So yes, definitely. So they give you a short one, a longer one. One's probably five feet, the other one's probably three. So we're gonna check that out. And we're gonna take a look. Let me zoom this back out okay so now that I have it zoomed right there what you're looking at is I used a piece of leftover tubing that I had from the frame and there was a panel with the three I guess the M8 screws in it that gets screwed down so I took it into work I just did it quick and I cut the weld on the sides I did a bend on it then I reinforced it welded it back up and I put a piece of aluminum on there, 1 8 thickness. So it's like 200 by 170. I think I measured it pretty much the exact size of this. So I'm gonna drill the holes, mount it, get it back on, hook it up, and we'll be back And if it's still working. I hope it's still working. So we'll be back then. See you in a few. Okay, so I figured I'd bring you all for the ride. Show you a little bit more. I haven't ever seen the inside of one of these yet. I ended up picking up some different ones. These may be a little bit longer, but I'm also going through an eighth inch, four and a half, almost five mils. So if you deduct that from a 16, which this is, we should be golden. And yeah, see these are number fives. All right, so that's an M5, and they say don't go deeper than 12. Anyways, if these these are tens, so that's why I, they sent me those, and I was like, those definitely don't look like 12. 
I know this is a 10 for sure and it just may do the trick okay so we're not gonna sweat that right now but we're gonna pull this off I already loosened them that sounds like my tool it's like glove all right so this yes this just pops right off so now what I have to do I'm gonna have to take that piece of aluminum and make up a little pattern on it okay so here we are so as you can see I made a little pattern and fortunately for me I did get the longest screws that I that they ended up sending me a 16 well m5 16 millimeter 16 one six because of all three layers of metal when it's screwed in it's perfectly level with this so sheer luck that that worked out in my favor So we'll take a look inside of there. It looks kind of like pretty complicated stuff there, don't it? There's some little springs. I can imagine these could even be changed out and made a little bit stronger for more tension. With the cam falls and everything. Very nice, very nice. It's just, you, when you open things, sometimes you expect to see like all kinds of crazy gears and kind of stuff, but Anyways, I'll get it hooked up, get it on the computer, get it up and running, and we'll get this video wrapped up. I have to say I am very impressed. And as far as the wait time, the last two products that I got from Verpal, when I first started out with Verpal way back in the day, and I bought the Wabreds equipment, everything took like six, seven weeks to come in and then when they started they started i read an article the other day before i did any ordering of this new stuff i ended up getting the constellation alpha prime joystick and i ended up picking this up a week later and everything was actually in within seven days so they have definitely whether it's their place down in tampa florida or what, what you know whatever it may be they have definitely picked up the pace because i know right now i don't know people call it different names but over here I pronounce it Belarus and there's sanctions over there so what they are doing from what I understand is they are shipping from Belarus to Lithuania which doesn't have sanctions from Lithuania to Florida so that's how they're circumventing getting stuff in country as long as they're doing it it's harmless it's nothing but for fun rock on brothers Okay, so we'll be back as soon as we get the rest of this wrapped up. Get it mounted, you know, whatnot. You'll see. All right, so here we go. I think it looks pretty good. I mean, I still got to figure the lights out. Yeah, when I put the handle down, I think the red lights should be on. And when I put it up, they should turn off. I know there's like a ton of buttons in there to configure. But setting it up was a breeze. Basically, I unplugged my joystick. I connected the control panel directly into a USB at the back of the computer. I set it up as a slave. I saved that profile, checked all the buttons, whatnot, all that stuff. And then I went, disconnected that, turned the power on to my joystick, and connected the auxiliary to the auxiliary on the base on the joystick. And it picked it right up as a slave it identified the joystick as what it was supposed to be everything worked out peachy peachy so now all I gotta do is kinda get into DCS get things programmed up rock and roll I think it's gonna work out just just fine I'm gonna have a lot of extra buttons to reassign but hey it's all good in the hood anyways people another fun video I know someone's probably going to be interested in watching what's going on here. But I will do an update in a couple of weeks on this once I figure out the lights. 
the, the LEDs to be more specific. There's only one thing I did notice about the LEDs and you can take a look. Let me see if I can zoom this in. If you look at the LEDs on the wind wing versus the dark green, and that's as dark as I can get it, they're a little bit fuzzier. They're more of like a hey, and maybe it's the maybe it's a type of plastic that's used to cover the LED lights on the buttons. But they're not as crisp as a green as with the wind wing. But hey, I mean I'm not complaining at all. I'm just pointing it out that if you do get this and you do the, the LEDs you're not going to get that crisp crisp colors that you get with the other ones and that's as bright and as dark as the color I could get so on that note we're going to sign off I'm going to get this thing fired up get things programmed and hope it all works see you all next time peace out